Hi, I'm Michael from Michael's Gathering, and this is how to build Mono Red Aggro. So Mono Red is an appealing deck for a lot of players, but especially beginning players and people who just generally don't want to get too deep into the thick of magic deck building because Mono Red goes fast, it's straightforward, and actually very importantly, it's quite powerful. You can play Mono Red up to a very high point in the ladder and still get excellent results. The core of the deck is built around commons and uncommons, and the expensive wildcard rares and mythics have plenty of space for individual favoritism and characteristic creativity. Every Mono Red aggro deck starts with these six commons and uncommons. Monastery Swift Spear, Phoenix Chick, Kumano Faces Kakazan, Play With Fire, Monstrous Rage, and Lightning Strike. Whatever you do with the rest of the deck, if you have four of each of these six cards, you're gonna have a core that's going to kill a lot of people turn four, and you're gonna have fun doing it. There's nothing quite like seeing a bunch of cards come up that trigger a whole bunch of different ways and play a bunch of really fun effects. And ultimately, this is the part of the deck that really brings its base power up to that competitive level. In my opinion, there are three must-craft cards for Mono Red. And luckily, all three of them are legendary threats, so you actually don't necessarily want a full playset of them if you are penny-pinching, as it were. The threats in question are Squee, Dubious Monarch, Godric, Cloak Reveler, and Feldon, Ronom, Excavator. These are the three best red threats in the format, and the deck goes from consistent to incredibly threatening the instant that you add these in. Godric especially is a recent pickup that turns Kumano Faces Kakazan from the best card in the format to even more the best card in the format. Another partner in crime for Kumano is Feldon, who as a turn 2, 3, 3 haste coming off of a turn 1 Kakazan is unacceptably powerful, given the fact that chump blocking him nets you cards and using any sort of damage based removal allows you to immediately replace him. Squee is one of Mono Red's few long-term game plans. Not only is it a fantastic 3-mana three 3-3 three, three worth of haste stats when you just play it on curve, but if it's removed immediately, it's entirely feasible if you've been, say, behind or just casting a bunch of burn spells instead of playing creatures, that you can pay the 4-mana and just recast him again, netting you a card and also making sure that that card is a powerful hasty threat. And of course, another important thing is for you to like and subscribe. If you still have additional wild cards, or you're looking at some deck lists trying to figure out what the most important cards are, I highly recommend Bloodthirsty Adversary. As both a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two haste, it fills the role of additional Feldons to be powerful cards synergizing with Kumano Faces Kakazan, and it provides an incredible 5-drop with a single activation, being a 3-3 haste with, say, a lightning strike directed at either an opponent's creature or an opponent's face. Or, on a rare occasion, it is a 5-mana that casts Monstrous Rage on itself, making it a 5-mana 6-4 haste with Trample which is a lot of damage to come off the top of the deck. Two other extremely good cards to craft are Charming Scoundrel and Shivan Devastator. Although these are far from must-crafts, they are both absolutely fantastic inclusions, especially Charming Scoundrel with its double permanent creation synergy with Godric, although I personally do love to play a couple of copies of Shivan Devastator just for the fireball off the top of the deck situation. At the time of recording, another incredibly cheap and valuable card to add to the deck is Witch Stalker Frenzy. This card does a fantastic job of clearing space off the opponent's board for you to get through for lethal damage. But right now, with White Red Tokens doing a fantastic job of clogging up the board constantly and then ending on a Knight Errant of Eos, Witch Stalker Frenzy is incredibly important for clearing that 4-4 which would otherwise severely hamper your ability to finish the job. And just in case the black ever comes back into importance, Witch Stalker Frenzy was historically also used for removing shield dreads for one mana. If you're looking for something a little bit less straightforward with a little bit more synergistic, fun to play around game plans, I recommend the mechanized warfare build of the deck. Using the common sorcery and the festivities to one mana clear an entire board of opposing tokens, and the previously mono red staple Voldar and Epicure to both ding the opponent and provide valuable card selection. If you have absolutely no rare or mythic wildcards whatsoever, you can always build Ren's Resolve Prowess decks using pretty much entirely just uncommon cards. 
It's fun, it's fast, and it's a deck you can build over time. If you have a favourite build of Mono Red, leave it in the comment down below. And if you want your favourite deck to cut to the head of the line of how to build, make sure to give it a shout out down there too. G'day and good laddering.